All right, well, welcome back here to the concourse of the Progressive Auto Sales Arena. And again, you never know who's going to show up. Our young friend Liam Henderson is here to join us. Thanks for stopping by, Liam. Hi, it's great to be here. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen you in a little while. You, you, I know you follow this thing uh, quite closely. This has been an interesting first period here. It seemed like both teams were in the game and uh, neither side really letting it up. In the last 32 seconds of the game, Sudbury Wolves score a goal and then 20 seconds later with about 10 seconds to go, they do it again. What are you seeing out there, Liam? All right. Well, what I've seen for most of the period was um, was a very close game and two teams of similar, um, actually, actually uh, quite similar talents. Um, as you can see, I was excited for uh, Quinton Byfield and uh, to see how he would perform. And so far, he's doing pretty good. He's an all-around good player. But here's the thing that I saw. The thing that was most similar between these two teams that I saw, both of their defensemen, or at least I think it was their defensemen, what happened was they got the puck and they flipped it over the boards. It's their way of game. That tells me that both of these teams are putting good offensive pressure on each other. And, and you know, you... You see something, then it could yeah. may it potentially become something. And then Ryan Mass getting a, the, the high stick. He didn't mean to do that, but then again, it bled four minutes. A four-minute four high-sticking penalty. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, I, well, and that's uh, when that occurred, of course, that's when Sudbury was able to come in and, and take advantage of those, uh, that penalty at the time yep. and, and put two goals uh, into the net to start things off as far as the scoreboard is concerned. Yep. Um, coming out into the second period, though, is there anything that you see you think the starting thing needs to uh, to fix? Well, all I'd say is they got to step up their uh, they uh, got to step up their uh, special teams play. Okay. I mean, when you give up one on a on a on a penalty kill, yeah, that's fine. But then when it's a double minor, they stay in net until if there's a second goal. The second goal on a, on a double minor is extremely rare, and the Wolves were able to pull it off. And even on the power play, the Sudbury Wolves are a good quality offensive penalty killing team. Yes. Like the Sarnia Sting the last year and this year, as a matter of fact, the, you know, the Wolves, you got to watch out for. On the power play, Jacob Perot. Jacob Perot's got to, you know, be himself. He's the OHL leader in power play goals, so you know, very good. get up there. Also, Sean Josley, um, a very good point getter, so I hope he'll be able to produce some time in this game. That would be a big help to the Sting, All right. down 2 nothing. Very good. Well, there you have it. Liam Henderson joining us here. Nice to see you again, Liam. And uh, school's doing well and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. It's going you're well. You're behaving yourself. Oh, of course. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I see on some pictures on Facebook from time to time. Mom and Dad are always making sure you're keeping busy. But uh, we appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. And go yep. Sting, go, right? That's right. Okay. Thanks, Liam. We're going to pass. We'll take those and pass those over to our friend Jake. Go give him a tug there. Thanks again, Liam. Uh, Jake Chersky. Yeah, no problem. Dad's here as well. Well, hi. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. He really is a smart kid, you know. You know what? I don't <laughs> even want to talk right now. You don't want to talk after him, eh? Not at all. <laughs> He's just, uh, well, he was right. You know, we talked, we talked, of course, about, the wow, the last 32 seconds of this first period huh. um, and 20 seconds apart, two goals for Sudbury. Interesting there with um, uh, the four-minute penalty for high sticking uh, that was certainly a part of what hurt the sting at that moment Absolutely. for Sudbury to come in and get those two goals but would you agree though that both the Liam sort of mentioned he says you know both these teams are are, are, are fairly equal mm -hmm. uh, like, they, I mean they seem to be they're messing up with the shots on that we've been kind of doing our own little tallies over oh yeah there. <laughs> you don't and agree with so that out of nine I don't know who's actually in charge of that but I want to talk to them Okay, um, I'll, I'll mention something. Yeah, but it's just, um, they, I don't know. It's It doesn't look like an organized, it looks like a pond hockey game out there. Yeah. For me, anyway, like, there's zero flow to it. There's no breakouts. There's no, and 
you know, they've each had power plays. Yeah. And really, even the power plays are kind of shoddy. I mean, yes, they've scored two. Yeah. But, I mean, they weren't like no, but pass, 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 pass. No, they scores. weren't amazing goals. You know, it yeah. was they weren't that. Um, it, it just, I don't know, it makes me think early games aren't supposed to be in hockey, I oh, guess. Oh, maybe. <laughs> is that what it is? I don't <laughs> know. I think like, both these teams sort of, well, it's the first time they've, they've played each other this season, too. So maybe they're yeah. feeling that out. And Peter Stratus out there, of course, coming from the Sudbury Wolves. Um I always wonder, like, I know it's not intentional. I'm not trying to, to say anything. But when you just come off a team that you've, you've played with and you got to know the guys, when you get kind of next to each other, you know, you kind of, I don't know, do you hold back a little bit just subconsciously maybe? No, I don't think so. Just with playing sport at a higher level, I just, you know people on the other team. You don't intentionally go to hurt them. No. But you still play, and it's that complete, that compete level because you want to basically at the end of the game, you want to say, we beat you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's where the, the friendship comes back in because there's no hard feelings and, and, and. Um, so I don't just really business, think there's that. Just business, it's not personal. It, exactly, it's just <laughs> yeah. business. It's not personal at all. Well, it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what changes out there come the next 20 minutes because I agree with you. I've been watching from upstairs, and I kind of like, uh, what's going on out here? Like, there, there was no... Like you said, there was really no flow. There was no consistency. It was kind of like all over. Yeah. And uh, everybody was kind of uh, missing the puck. And, uh, you know, we talked yesterday about the Sarnia thing, um, doing more long passing. Uh, the, 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 normally, Jay Peckham would say, you know, the North, normally uh, short and shoddy, you know, kind of thing. Uh, it seems like they're trying to do a little more of the long passing, but uh, they still got to work on some accuracy for it. They just don't always seem to be there. I don't know. It just there's are they tired? I mean, there's <laughs> definitely that. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of. I don't mind dumping it in, but if you're gonna dump it in, then you got to go get it, right? Yeah. So, I, I like hitting the line. You know, hitting the line hard and fast with everybody kind of going through, chipping in just before the blue line, and then you got three lanes going in to go get the puck. Everybody sets up in their spots, fish the puck out, dump it up front, of that shoot scores. Okay, I'm yeah. winning. Yeah, you know, I was saying but it's not yeah. that way. Obviously, yeah. I was. Excuse me, I was saying yesterday that uh, um, we seem to have improved. Like we always seem to have a bit of struggle into in the corners and, and coming out winning uh, those corner uh, um, fights. I guess you will. We seem to have improved on that. At least yesterday, I thought we we were, had improved on that. But it seems today. And if you're, you're watching the play-by-play along on, online, it, it, yeah, not it's, so much today. Uh, that's a big team out there. Sudbury's huge. Yeah. <laughs> like, when you look at them, they're really big. So, you know, you got a little void out there. Yeah. He's trying hard, but he's yeah. like, he's got 90, or the other guy's got 90 pounds on him and about a foot. Yeah. You know, who's <laughs> going to win that? Like, it, there's some common sense to that also. But, I mean, that if you can't beat him with big, you know, strength and whatnot, then you got to kill him with speed because he's not going to be as fast as you. Right. You know, so it's kind of pick your battles. But the corners, um, you know, our, our lineup, when you look at our lineup and the level of guys, so you can see at home, they're like this. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's we don't have that, you know, our average eight or our average height six one. Right. You know, where you got a couple five tens, but then there's a couple six fours to balance it out. Um, it's just... You know, I, I think size is out there, but again, the new style of hockey—it's not the big bruiser style anymore. So, yeah, if you can find athletic, soft hands, six foot two players, yeah, and Sudbury found them all. Speaking of uh, <laughs> uh, rough and tough, you cleaned yourself up there, Jake. In fact, one of our fans has noticed Danny Cachamilio out there. So, <laughs> what's he said? Nice shave, Jake. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Danny. I uh, cleaned himself up. I went high and tight on the cheeks, <laughs> and then let it go fluffy and down low. Right. So you uh, have a certain conditioner that you use? No, no, it's just no, just, it's just like a, a body wash okay. or something. I dip it in a deep. Was dryer. that just weird? Did I just take a wrong turn I, there? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I didn't know how to answer it. Really, Danny's watching. It's always good to. Have, Daniel, I'm sure you'll be back <laughs> to join us. Uh, you can come me. around and see us next game, Danny. We'll get you back. Danny right Cachamilio. Yeah. See, Jay Peckham. Huh? How'd I do? Jay Peckham okay. won't say it because he can't. I, I I sat down with Danny. I knew my weakness. Teach me. And it was the show that when you weren't here. Yeah. Yeah, right. and it's like, teach me. So he said, Cachamilio. So now that I know, I don't even look at it. That's right. There's no sense looking at it. 
Just say just the a, name. He's just Danny Cotramilio. That's yeah. just all it. He'll be happy that we're talking about him in front of his face today. Well, <laughs> hang on a sec. Danny Cotramilio. There you go. There I'll you be go. on your back. Yeah. <laughs> so do nothing right now. I mean, uh, they weren't wow amazing goals. It like, no. they, they just happened. They're it, hardworking they, goals, though. They I mean, were, yeah. The they garbage got, goals are always the tough goals, They right? got them there for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, the conversation now in the locker room, I, th I don't know, like, they just got to, like you said, they, they just got to get a little more organized, both teams, quite honestly. David, it's the second period. What are you even worried about? Well, it's going to be tied after this and then uh, uh, then the third period. Yeah, it's that, well, we're good in the second period, That's what seems. I'm saying. Uh, we'll no, be, I know, but it's the third period that I'm, well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can make, you know what, how about four goals in the second period? Okay. We'll have a softer third. So we'll we'll some, let one we'll in. Eh, it'll be scary near the end. And then we'll get an empty netter. He's calling a number. We're calling your number because time's up. Uh, thanks to my friend Liam Henderson who stopped by to say hello as well. And 2-0 two, two, in favor of Sudbury Wolves. And the shots on goal, we'll find out about that. Unofficial shots on net, 11-9 for Sudbury. Right, there you go. <laughs> All right, we'll be back again uh, after the second period. Hope some positive remarks for, uh, oh, before we go, what do we got? Oh, Danny says excellent pronunciation. He's laughing. Very Thank good. You. All right, got to go for the show live on location. Once again, I'm David Burroughs. I'm a good friend, Jake Chersky. We'll talk to you soon.